welcome back to my channel today I feel like I am 2017 audio maybe even 2016 2015 I think my first lip swatch video was like an LA girl lip swatch video and maybe like 2014 or 2015 which is insane but we are back I saw a TikTok video the other day that was talking about like where are all the beauty youtubers like nobody's making beauty YouTube videos anymore and it's so true I just miss OG beauty YouTube so I want to be a part of bringing it back and what better way to do so than to do a beauty review video so today I am going to be doing a first impression lip swatch and review video on the new rare beauty kind words matte lipsticks and lip liners first of all Selena looks stunning and can I just say I feel like I haven't talked about makeup a lot on my YouTube but rare beauty has quickly become one of my favorite brands Selena and the rare beauty Beauty team are absolutely crushing the industry right now I am obsessed with every single one of their products let me know if there's any other videos that you want me to do I'm also doing like a lot of beauty TikToks, so if you want like a full face or rare beauty or something like that definitely can do that but yeah thank you so much to rare beauty for sending me over the collection to try out I just knew right away that I had to do one of these videos so today I'm going to be swatching every single one of them on my lips and we're gonna be talking about what's tea so I'm gonna try to do it how I used to do my lip swatch videos I'm gonna have chapters attached to this video um, if you're only interested in a certain shade or a certain part of this video feel free to skip around but yeah before we get started be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for the sake of my poor lips <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you're not already it is such a fun time around here and would love it if you stuck around so first I'm gonna do a little bit of an overview of the collection so there are 10 lip liners and 10 lipsticks. The lip liners retail for 15 US dollars and the lipsticks retail for 20 US dollars each. All of the names of the lipsticks and lip liners, which by the way, they have a corresponding color for the lip liner and the lipstick, which I love and you can create endless amounts of lip combos with them. We'll see if I could get to that in this video, but I love how each of them are named after a kind word. I love that Rare Beauty also donates to mental health. I just love everything that Selena and the brand is doing here is the campaign brief look how stunning the beautiful models and again selena with the lipsticks i feel like for this being the first launch of the lipsticks she came out with the most perfect range of 10 colors so let's start with the lip liners first i'm actually wearing both the lively lip liner and lipstick right now and i did my true first impressions on a tiktok video so be sure to head over there if you want to see that from what i can say first impressions this glide it on like a dream it was so easy to overline my lips with it first of all the packaging is so sleek and beautiful and just goes along perfectly with rare beauty it comes with a built-in sharpener they're actually waterproof so they claim not to feather or fade this is such a lightweight lip liner and lipstick we're gonna get into that in a second but I feel like I'm wearing nothing on my lips um, which is really rare rare beauty I feel like a lot of lip liners feel like a little bit heavy or feel like that crayon feeling but these just glide right on moving on to the lipsticks the packaging first of all is so cute I love the push-up it's so sleek and beautiful and definitely look show-stopping people if they don't already know will definitely be asking what is in your bag they are beautiful they come in a bullet they have claimed to have high pigment one swipe color which is definitely true to get this i barely had to put any effort in they also claim to be a cushiony comfortable all day wear which the all day of course is my first impressions i will come back later and let you know what i think of that however cushiony and comfortable yes they are also weightless with a soft matte finish definitely it feels like i'm wearing a really comfortable lip balm also disclaimer i've had my makeup and hair in for quite a few hours now so if it doesn't look the best i am sorry yeah we're gonna go ahead and start from front to back and try on the rest of the colors and yeah so I'm gonna show you guys me taking them off right now just so you can see how easily they come off with a makeup wipe oh poof it's gone I love that I feel like we are so saturated right now with liquid lipsticks and lip glosses which of course is a given because we've had lipsticks before 
Um, we've had a craze of liquid lipsticks. However, it feels really good to have like a new set of matte lipsticks like this. You can never go wrong with a lipstick. And I actually, most of the times, prefer them over a liquid lipstick. But anyways, we are first going to go in with the shade Talented. Now, this is the lightest of the collection and I also do want to give a disclaimer that I used to give in all of my lip swatch videos. The color that shows up on me might be different depending on your skin tone. Thankfully there are a ton of different videos and creators out there on TikTok, YouTube, etc. that you can refer to. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys this one not sped up since it's my first one applying on camera. But I do like to give my lips a slight overline. Ooh, it's actually honestly darker than it looks like right here. I thought it was going to be more of a peach. This is actually like everyday lip liner for me. So right off the bat, what that tells me is if you have lighter skin tone, this might be more of a darker shade. But let's see how close the lipstick matches the lip liner because I know sometimes they make the lip liners darker. Also, a little promo to my girl Sophie and Glamorous Looks. Be sure to shop her brand. But yeah, let's see what Talented is about. Okay, so this actually looks like a brownie nude. And it's actually pretty dark. Normally the first shade is like a concealer kind of shade. And of course this might be for someone else's skin tone. But let's see... And again, all I have on my face is foundation. I didn't put chapstick before this. But do you see how it's already applied? I, okay, I love this. I'm sorry. This is like my everyday nude. This is perfect. I honestly really expected it to be like an apricot nude color just based off of this. Um, I would say that it actually matches the lip liner pretty spot on. As you can see, that one swipe color. It is so cushiony, I can't get over it. Like, it feels so, so good on the lips, and I love the soft matte finish. So, this one is talented. Next up, I'm going to go into the shade Creative, and I'm going to speed up the rest of these applications. <laughs> Okay, love. So this one, Creative, is actually a lot lighter than Talented. This is like the perfect peachy nude. This one would be, which I guess you would classify like a concealer nude, but I love it. Now imagine this with one of the darker lip liners and this on the center, like that girl. And I lately have been in love with these light nudes. I don't know why, but this with a gloss... Hold on. But yeah, another another daily staple. Like, just for the purpose of this video, let me actually go in with Wise, which is one of the more darker colors that I'm going to show you guys later on. Yup. Yup. I did it super messy, but you see the vision. My makeup is like slowly done with me. So next up we have Worthy. I've heard so much about this shade. I can't remember if it was this one or the next one that people were comparing to Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. But let's see. And also did I mention they have a sharpener but they also twist up as well which I really really appreciate. Like, first of all, did you see how easy I just created that overline? Like, hello. Okay, come through worthy. This is giving me Velvet Teddy Mac vibes. Yes, I've never actually tried Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but if it's anything like this, no words. I love it. This is like a brown, mauve, more cool tone nude. At least on me, again. It has some pink undertone to it. This is just that girl. Honestly, I have not found one color yet that is unflattering. And even on every other skin tone, I feel like they made this collection so that it could fit everyone. And I'm here for it. Let's get into the shade Humble now. Oh my god, I love this one. I feel like this one is a pinkier version of the one I just tried. Maybe this one was the Pillow Talk one. But either way, I'm obsessed. Like, literally, every single one of these, I would wear every day so far. And this one swipe color, it's something I really can't get over. So next up, we're getting into the back half of the collection. This is the shade Bun. Also, I don't know if you just saw that, but when I press my lip together, it pretty much is already done. Also, off trying to clean them up, they don't really move easily, which can be a good or bad thing depending on who you're asking. But, I mean, it does show that the color is, is going to stay there. This one is screaming, hello fall to me, hello autumn. I normally don't wear 
these kinds of tones on myself unless it's fall I have on like a fall outfit right now to be honest but this is super cute I love it because it's not too like orangey it's not too pink it's not too brown I feel like it's just a really nice shade and it's fun just like it's neat so next up we're gonna go into the shade wise this was a color that we added earlier and it looks like the perfect like cafe brown color well not necessarily brown but like a brown nude because there is like a brown brown shade I love that non feathery color okay before I say anything let me put on the lipstick before I get too excited okay hold on this one I feel like I need to swipe one more time to match the lip liner we'll see if it's like a darker color thing okay so wise let me okay I can't like the nude in the middle of this would be amazing this one is so beautiful it is like a not a berry brown I don't know it is just like a beautiful shade of brown with like a little bit of red undertone pink I really really love this one and I'm curious to see how it's gonna look compared to the other dark colors. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bold. So this one is like a muted red cranberry. I will say I was really shocked that this collection didn't come with like your classic red. Um, I mean, I can understand why it didn't because a classic red can be a little bit hard to perfect and it's different on everybody and I feel like it's been done so many times. But I feel like every collection does have like a staple red, but I guess this one in bold is the rare beauty version. I really, really love it. I feel like it would look really beautiful on various different skin tones. It's not as bold as like a bright red and it's pretty. I definitely will be wearing this in the fall. And even the darker colors are wiping off pretty well I will show you guys in the next one um, but this one is gifted and it's actually Selena's favorite color of the entire line um, so I'm really excited to try this one out everyone has been trying it since Miss Selena herself said it's her favorite and I believe this is the one that she's wearing on the campaign photo and wore at the event oh, might already be obsessed oh yeah and I think it was just that other color that I had to do two swipes because this one, one swipe. We love her. I actually love that she came out with the lip liners as well as the lipsticks, but I'm going to save that thought for a little bit later. This one is so beautiful. It is like a berry brown mahogany burgundy it is just stunning i feel like it's super unique it also has like that wine color like purpley tones to it i could definitely see why this one is her favorite i'm normally not a dark lipstick girl like i've said a few times i would probably only wear this like winter ball also that is because i have stopped doing a lot of different makeup looks when i was more of like a makeup blogger i definitely would wear like lips like this all the time depending on the look I think it brings out my eyes this is such a basic neutral eye it looks so so good with it and I love it so last but not least and sadly we're at the last one which is strong and this is our brown shade and I'm so excited to try this one but as I just said let me show you how the darker shades are coming off with a makeup wipe that was one swipe and I kind of have to rub back and forth but boom way easier than a lot of other lipsticks especially because i've done a lot of lip swatches before and it is normally not that easy and my lips aren't feeling like raw and super tugged at and i can think that to the formula oh my god wait i have to put that on again i forgot to record my tiktok hold on this is bringing back core memories but 10 lipsticks honestly I think the largest one I ever did was close to 30 lipsticks in one video, so we're doing good today, but let's see about strong. Definitely a strong, beautiful color. I might have overlined too much. Uh-huh. 
Okay, she is strong. What a way to end the collection. I love it. This is so different than any of the other browns that I have in my collection. I specifically love this so much because you can tell that Selena really wanted to make an inclusive line. This is amazing. A lot of the browns that I've tried are more like chocolatey, more in like this shade range, but I love that this one is like a true dark brown. No really undertone to it. It is just beautiful and definitely meant to suit all skin tones. So we have made it to the end of the lip swatches and now I'm going to get into all of my thoughts. I do actually, which one should I put in the center? I kind of want to try out a lip combo. I'm gonna go in with Talented because it was more of that like brown nude. Okay, it honestly didn't do much. I feel like the light color didn't overpower strong as much as I thought it would. I feel like a liquid lipstick or a concealer would do the job. But anyway, my final thoughts. I am going to actually do a clip later how it held up. Let me show you guys right now drinking a water. Okay, I purposely <laughs> put my lips on it to see and it did not really transfer. As you can see, the top other lipsticks can be way worse. I'm going to try kissing. Pretty good. It doesn't claim to be transfer proof. It does claim to be waterproof though. So let me try to get the water on my lips. Okay. Love the collection and I want to thank the Rare Beauty team again for sending this over. I was not sponsored to make this video. I genuinely wanted to make this and I'm so glad I did. I love trying out the line. My final thoughts are you need at least one of each in your life. Do you need the lip liners? Because I know sometimes brands don't come out with the lip liner and the lipstick, especially matching tone. Personally, I think yes. I love that they came out out with the lip liner as well because I feel like it made my application so smooth. The lip liner does also kind of have that effect where it's like a barrier for your lipstick to go in perfectly. I really love the formula of the lip liner. It is really smooth and creamy. However, if you're not a lip liner person or you have lip liners at home, I also feel like you can do just fine um, with the lip liner you already have. Um, it's definitely a total preference if you like more of like a pencil lip liner however if you want a true match like that true color throughout your whole lip you need the lip liners if not if you like to mix around and play i would say you don't need them unless you do want to get like different shades of the lip liners to try out but for me i love that i can get like a really spot on match with them the lipsticks I think you need <laughs> at least one. I think they are so nice and comfortable. I have tried so, so many lipsticks and right away I can tell that these are definitely at the top. They also don't feather easily. And overall, I think they are really true to their claim. And again, why not support? They donate 1% of all of their sales to mental health resources. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna pose right now so I can talk about my final thoughts here so all in all i think they wore really really well better than a liquid lipstick in my opinion because of course when lipsticks start to fade you can just reapply them really easily and honestly overall it's just a yes from me and sorry for my retainer list but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i love you all so much i had so much fun making this video definitely nostalgic vibe let me know if there are any other collections brands products that you want me to do reviews on if you like these videos if you want me to continue doing them and bringing them back makeup videos also i didn't talk about it but this is like a new setup that i tried while i was actually filming videos for a brand and i love it i think whenever i'm doing makeup content i'm gonna sit here and film them this is right in front of my vanity too so it feels really cozy and like i'm just doing a casual get ready with me as opposed to over there but yeah let me know what you want to see next let me know what you thought of this video let me know if you buy one of these lipsticks and lip liners and what your favorite shade is and what you thought of it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone